Hi, welcome to Pre-AP Physics, Types of Forces, Part 2. Uh, today, we're, or right now, we're going to look at um, how to actually analyze these forces, how to draw them. So first, analyzing the forces. A force is produced by an agent. A force acts on an object that's called the receiver. And the force causes something to happen, that's the effect. So in this example, you have two forces. You have a weight force and a friction force. The weight force is the weight of gravity. The agent is the earth, the receiver is the boy, and the effect is it pulls the boy down. The friction force, the agent, is the slide itself. The receiver is the boy, and the effect is the boy is actually slowing down, down the slide. Here you have four forces. So we have a pulling muscular force from the agent on the bow, or I'm sorry, from the hunter on the bow, and the effect is that the bow is pulled back. The elastic force is from the agent is the bow itself, the receiver is also the bow, and the effect is that the bow is, the shape of the bow is changed. Weight force um, of the hat, the agent is the earth, receiver is the hat, and the effect is that the hunter feels the hat. And finally, the support force on the hat, um, the agent is his head itself, the receiver is the hat, and the effect is that it stays on his head. So drawing force diagrams, here are three examples. One, draw the forces of a flamingo standing on the ground. <clears throat> Here's a picture of a flamingo standing on the ground. Identify the system. It's a flamingo standing on the ground. Um, enclose the system in a circle so that you can identify what else is acting on it. Identify those contact forces, meaning where does your circle touch something else. Notice it's at the bottom. Um, notice that we have a normal force because we have something sitting on something and we have the force of gravity because gravity is in every situation. Seven, you're going to draw that force diagram. You have force of gravity going down, the force of normal going up. The sled is being pulled. Define the system, enclose it in a circle, identify those forces, normal, friction, gra uh, tension, and then obviously you have gravity as a field force. So the force diagram would look like that. So there are seven steps uh, to drawing a force diagram. One is to draw a picture, or one will be given to you. Identify the system, draw a circle around the object, identify and illustrate the field forces, identify and illustrate the contact forces, and then draw the general force diagram. Finally, complete the force notation. Let's talk about that. In complete force notation, there are four forces we're going to study. Force of tension, which is horizontal or vertical, um, which is a push-pull. This includes buoyancy and hanging. Then we have the force of gravity, abbreviated FG, always goes down. Then we have the force of friction, goes the opposite of any motion and cause objects to slow down. We will include air resistance. And finally, we have the force of normal. This is a support force. It's always with an object on any surface, comes up from underneath, and normal is perpendicular to the surface. So when we analyze forces, a force is produced by the agent, it acts on the receiver, and it causes something to happen, which is the effect. So when you draw a force diagram, you're going to put an F for force, identify the type, what it's acting on, and what is causing it, or the by. So reduce the object to a single dot, label all the forces acting on that object in that format that we just discussed. So in this one, we have three forces, gravity, normal, from the slide, and friction. So the force of gravity is on the boy by the earth, the force of friction is on the boy by the slide, and the force of normal is on the boy by the slide. So this is what a completed force diagram for the boy on the slide would look like. Finally, uh, you have a, an object on a table. So reduce the object to a single dot. Look for and identify the forces acting on it. I see gravity and normal. Draw those force arrows from the dot and label those arrowheads. I have the force of gravity on the block by the earth and the force of normal on the block by the table. 
All right, that's how you draw a force diagram. You're going to have an assignment. Thanks for watching.